Hey guys, it's been a minute since I made a YouTube video and this is my updated go-to makeup. I figured it would be interesting to see the older me do a YouTube video, even if it's just for nostalgia and nobody cares to watch it. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Going in with my Smashbox Bottle Finish Primer, I just use that on any of the points of my face that have a bit of texture and that is a skin issue that I have. Not everybody will want to use this primer. Then taking my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Silk, I just use that on my eyelids to prime them and then blend that out with a beauty blender. This eyeshadow palette is what I'll be using for most of my eye look in this video. If you've never tried Ramand before, you should definitely try Find It if you can. Um, I love their products, but this eyeshadow quad is so good and it's really small and handy. Um, so I just go on top of the concealer and set that with the lighter shade, and then take the lighter brown shade in the quad and use that in my outer corners and in my crease and just giving it a bit of dimension in my eyes. I decided to use an extra step in going with my Lorac Pro palette, which is not typically what I would do with this look, but I wanted to darken the outer corners a little bit. So I just took the shade Sable from that palette and kind of blended that into the lighter brown. When I'm blending these eyeshadows, I tend to be very, very light-handed and I go at a very slow pace and I only pick up a little bit at a time. It really helps me and I feel like people love to rush their makeup, but genuinely it really helps to just take your time and blend it out as much as you want. Then going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, um, I blend that out onto my face. I put a very light amount and spread that pretty thinly across my face and I use my beauty sponge to do that. Um, it's definitely a few shades darker than my actual face but the rest of my uh, body is covered in fake tan so it, you know, it evens out eventually. Trust the process. This foundation is very lightweight but gives enough full coverage and for my dry skin it works really really well. So if you have dry skin like me, I would definitely recommend. Going back in with that same concealer that I used on my eyes, I just put a small amount underneath my eyes and also on my nose and kind of my smile lines, I guess you would call them. I'm starting to notice as I get older that the shadows there are really starting to show. <laughs> so it might not seem it to anybody else, but to me, I'm like, I, I want to brighten it up a little bit. And again, using the beauty blender, I just blend that out on my face. It's not a beauty blender, it's just a makeup sponge from Penny's. But I call it a beauty blender. I've been calling it everything in this video. But yeah, the sponge, I use that to blend out my concealer. my cream contour I'm actually just taking my uh, random foundation brush that I have and applying the brush directly onto the stick I find it helps rather than like whacking on a bunch of contour onto your face directly from the stick it's easier to apply it and blend it out I did however still manage to apply too much cream bronzer on that one cheek so I did go over it with my beauty sponge just to blend it out a bit more after, but that's kind of the beauty of cream products, you can kind of alter it and change it if you make a mistake, there's no issues.
Now to set all this makeup in place, I'm using my Fit Me um, pressed powder. We actually don't have the loose powder in your bed, I'm pretty sure. Or I can't find it anyway, so if anybody knows where you can get it, please let me know. And then after this, I am using a different powder, as I'm only focusing the pressed powder on the center points of my face to brighten it up. And then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier loose powder to set the rest. To finish off my eyes, I then go back into my Roman palette and use that light brown shade and just use a very small detailed brush and focus that underneath my lower lash line just to blend it all seamlessly together. Then taking the darkest brown shade in that Roman palette, I use that as my winged liner. I've been doing this for years, I haven't really touched an eyeliner in a very long time. And I'll really only use it if I'm going out somewhere like out, out not just like my daily routine out. Um, I find it much easier if you are someone who is afraid of a winged liner, start with eyeshadow because it's really really easy to fix if you mess up. I then take a pencil eyeliner to line my waterline because I need that. I, I don't think my eyes look better without eyeliner in my waterline. I know a lot of people love that and I love that for them but not for me. Then going over my eyelashes with the Maybelline Sky High mascara. My eyebrow routine is essentially the same for the past like five years I would say but I go in and just brush out my eyebrows. They're quite large and in charge and then I take my brow wiz in the shade dark brown. I haven't really strayed away from the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz. Um, it's my tried and true so I will stick by it. And I lightly line my eyebrows and I really take my time to fill in my eyebrows and try to make them sisters not cousins. I then go in with my Refi Clear Brow Gel, and I'll be honest, it's not my favourite. Um, I much prefer other brow gels I've used in the past, but it does the job. I just don't like the weird white cast it leaves on your eyebrows. For lashes, these are a Japanese brand of lash, and I've put them in half. So I will leave the name for those lashes down below. I actually need to get more, and they are available on YesStyle. So, yeah, there you go. I forget the name of the highlight that I'm using in this. I know it's MAC, and I've had it for years, so I'm using that in all the places you would normally highlight. Then I go in with that bronzer art class, Too Cool for School or something I think it's called. I, I can't remember, I'm stressed. Um, but yeah, I just contour my nose a little bit more and my cheekbones. I don't really go near my forehead because I already put a lot of cream bronzer on it so I didn't feel the need to. And then I go in with my Physician's Formula for a bit more of a bronzy look, less of a contour. Then I take my Hourglass Blush, I forget the shade, but everything will be linked below, Don't, do not worry. I also think I lost a bunch of footage of me doing my blush, but you know, it's pretty straightforward where you put your blush. And then I go in with the iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury and a Fenty lipstick, which I have also forgotten the name of. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys made it to the end of the video and that you enjoyed this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's been a really long time since I made one of these videos and times have changed. So I don't know if this is something that people still watch or if it's even useful to people anymore but I hope somebody enjoyed it and you got something out of it yeah see you next time bye